So after several weeks of waiting for this particular item to be back in stock since it's nearly sold out almost everywhere, I was finally able to get my hands on the latest Intel Core i9-3900K, which is indeed Intel's flagship CPU with their latest 13th generation known as Raptor Link. Now for those who have been on my channel since early 2022, you guys may have seen my video editing PC build info card up there if you haven't checked it out already, which can easily handle things like 8K and 12K workloads. And with that PC, I am running the Intel Core i9-12900K, which is Alder Lake's flagship of last year. And since I already own most of the components in order to make a 13th gen build, I decided that I wanted to put it against the test to last year's Alder Lake, see how much better it is in performance, and especially how it handles with creative applications, productivity, and to see whether or not Raptor Lake is the right choice for you. When I started following Intel CPU pathway a few years back, Raptor Lake was one of the first few generations that I was really excited to see since it would be introducing a 24 core CPU up to 5.8 gigahertz, but especially last year in 2021 and earlier this year in 2022, I was just in such a dire need of an upgrade from my 8th gen Intel CPU. I was just stuck in that proxy workflow, which just took up so much of my time and it really slowed down my performance when it came to outputting certain projects and videos. And because of that, I decided to go with Alder Lake since it was finally a new platform for Intel to be able to introduce the hybrid architecture system with both performance cores and efficiency cores. And ever since I made the switch over to Alder Lake this year with the video editing PC build, it has honestly helped out so much because now I can easily handle my 8 K workflows can even work up to 12K, especially with Blackmagic's Ursa 12K camera, and even things like the Canon R5 with its high intensive 4K and 8K. And after several weeks of owning and testing the 3900K in creative applications like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe applications, as well as productivity and benchmarking, I can clearly say that Raptor Lake is really just more of a refined version of Alder Lake since they are working on the same architecture, so there's nothing too crazy when it comes to physical changes, which a lot of people may be asking, is it really worth going for Raptor Lake since Alder Lake is already a lot cheaper and can pretty much just do the same stuff and has the same integrated graphics. And I will say the two biggest areas in where Raptor Lake really does prevail over Alder Lake is when it comes to having higher frequencies up to 5.8 gigahertz, as well as doubling the efficiency cores going from eight efficiency cores on the 12900K all the way over to 16 efficiency cores on the 13900K. And another neat feature going with Intel Raptor Lake is their continued support for DDR4 memory, especially since DDR5 is just really expensive. And it is crazy to see that platforms like AMD are now converting their users to go completely over to DDR5. I'm sure that Intel at some point is going to stop doing continued support for DDR4 and completely moving on to DDR5. But it is really nice for people that are thinking about picking up 13 gen, especially with Raptor Lake. And for those who just wanna save their DDR4 since it may already be good as is, and they don't necessarily need to see themselves getting an upgrade with their memory. So for gaming, I'm not doing a whole lot of content over it, but of course I do know that 13 gen is pretty much one of the top of the line CPUs to get right now, especially with 3900K leading in its performance. I would say that if you are looking for a CPU that is better for price to performance, and for those who are a bit more on a budget, I would recommend looking into the 13600K or the 13700K, which is either the i5 or the i7, since it is a lot cheaper and you are still gonna be getting a lot of great performance. The 13900K did score about 50% faster for single threaded performance compared to the 12900K, and as well as multi-core performance, it does almost double. So it is really impressive to see how much Intel has truly pushed with Raptor Lake over Alder Lake. When it comes down to intensive tasks on the creative side with DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere Pro, I did do a lot of testing with various codecs uh, from HEVC, H.265, RAW recording. I did do a lot of decoding and encoding tests. And between Alder Lake and Raptor Lake, they are very similar because ultimately they are sharing the same integrated graphics with Intel UHD Graphics 770. For a lot of people who are working with modern day cameras, it will be able to decode and encode pretty much majority of your files. I will say that DaVinci Resolve and Intel are honestly probably the best combination right now in the market. And to be able to see the various codecs that Intel can decode and encode with their media engine, it really does give an advantage of Intel over things like AMD or Nvidia. And especially working with the 13900K in DaVinci Resolve, doing things like decoding and encoding 8K RAW from the Canon EOS R5C, which for those who know is definitely a data-driven intensive codec. It is just really impressive to see that the 3900K completely dominates it with just utilizing up to 50 to 60% of the CPU. Whereas with the 12900K doing the exact same thing, it utilizes about 80%. So it's a good 20% less 
with Raptor Lake compared to Alder Lake. Now, when it comes to the downsides, one of the biggest complaints with Alder Lake was really just the power consumption since it is a very power intensive CPU. And with Raptor Lake, it is pretty much the same thing where, again, it is going to draw out just relatively the same amount as Alder Lake, if not slightly more power. It really just depends on person to person if it's gonna affect you that much because personally for me, it has been running perfectly fine. I really haven't had many issues. But again, for those who do get worried about having a heavy power consumption CPU, that may be something up to you. But personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think some people may be just taking that too out of context. When it comes to my conclusion thoughts with the 3900K, again, it is indeed a very impressive CPU, especially going from Alder Lake and seeing what Raptor Lake has to offer. Even though I wasn't really expecting that much of a difference because it is working on the same architecture, has the same graphics, I was thinking that it was gonna be relatively the same. But with those higher frequencies up to like five gigahertz stable, up to 5.8, and with double the efficiency cores to be able to just run multiple things at the same time, it really is impressive. So for those who really wanna go ahead and grab their hands on the latest 13th gen with the 3900K, highly recommend it. Just make sure that you know you are getting yourself a good price on it because right now, especially since it just came out, it is going to be at its highest price. But I guarantee you within a couple of months, it will drop in price significantly and it's gonna be a lot more affordable for people that want a 24 core CPU. But also to look on the other side with 13 gen's release, it does make the price of 12 gen CPUs even more cheaper, especially seeing that the 12900K currently I think right now is going for about $500, which is a really good deal. Even though I am reviewing the 3900K, a lot of people may not need the horsepower of the CPU and going for something like the i5-13600K or the i7-13700K may just be a better option for you. However, for the people that may be in the category of looking to upgrade, but you may not be in a dire need of an upgrade, that is where my recommendation might just change a little bit. I'd highly recommend just to wait about a year or two for either 14th gen or 15th gen because to be able to see Intel coming out with Meteor Lake and Arrow Lake, finally we are going from the 10 nanometer processing down to like the five or six nanometer processing and it's just gonna be a new era for CPUs and it's just gonna be a really exciting time. And with that, that is gonna do for us on this video. If you guys have any more questions on Intel's Raptor Lake or the 13900K specifically, let me know down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to respond to you guys there. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.